Good day. I'm Reverend Ronald Nathan, and I'm the minister of the Hogad Amy Zion Church, which is located in Jackson, in the parish of St. Michael on the island of Barbados. Welcome to our meditation, a psalm a day. Today's meditation is taken from Psalms 93, and I'm asking the question, what is the Caribbean Sea saying? What is the Caribbean Sea saying? What? Did I hear you right, Pastor? Yes, you did. Listen to Psalms 93 and verses 3 to 4. Your statues, Lord, stand firm. Holiness adores your house for endless days. In this psalm, and in, it says, The seas have lifted up, Lord. The seas have lifted up their voice. The seas have lifted up their pounding waves. Mightier than the thunder of the great waters, mightier than the breakers of the sea, the Lord on high is mighty. Yes, folks, there it is. The seas speak. So what is the Caribbean Sea saying? I grew up in church. It was not always the same church, but there was always church. Be it Anglican, Methodist, Church of the Nazarene, Roman Catholic, or Pentecostal with an occasional visit to the spiritual Baptist and Shango shrines. What seems to have been a common part of that eclectic spirituality was my questions. Didn't matter where I was or who I was with, I was asking questions. I was always an inquisitive child in everything that I was interested in. I saw my grandmother as the font of all knowledge and so tormented her with my hundreds of questions, especially about the Bible. Uh, that would get to a point where she couldn't take it any longer and she would threaten to throw something at me and I knew that was time to excuse myself rather quickly. One of those questions which you used to drive her just mad at me was, where is the Caribbean in the Bible? Later I was able to find the numerous references to the Isles of the Sea in the Old Testament, which partly answered my questions. Psalms 93 profiles God and his majesty through respect to the seas. It profiles God, his majesty, in respect to the sea. Let me read those verses again. The seas have lifted up, Lord. The seas have lifted up their voices. The seas have lifted up their pounding waves, mightier than the thunder of the great waters, mightier than the breakers of the sea. The Lord on high is mighty. The sea is used as evidence of God's rule, God's power, and God's glory. As David would say in another place, the heavens declare the glory of God, and the earth shows his handiwork. The Caribbean is a body of water adjacent to the Atlantic Ocean, southeast of the Gulf of Mexico. It is bordered by Venezuela, Colombia, and Panama to the South Central American countries, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, Guatemala, Honduras, and Belize on the West, with the Greater Antilles, Cuba, Jamaica, the Dominican Republic, and Puerto Rico, Haiti, on the north and the lesser Antilles of what we call the Eastern Caribbean on the east. Indeed, the beauty of the islands in the midst of the Caribbean Sea is beyond superlatives. This sea covers an approximately one million square miles. It is home to 43.5 million people and the complete area of the Caribbean Sea includes its numerous islands. And so as I look and I ask, what is the Caribbean Sea 
saying, I realize that these waters have witnessed the territorial disputes between our first peoples and then the international conflicts of countries from the north, predominantly Europe and later on Europe and North America, as they sought to expand their sphere of influence and the establishment of their political and imperial empires. The Caribbean Sea has been a witness to all of these activities. And if the Caribbean Sea could talk as I believe it can, it would tell us of the greatness of God which would have seen the movements of the plates of the earth, the volcanic eruptions and the evolution of the land masses and island states we today call the Caribbean. Having then produced some 14% of the world's coral reefs and some of the world's most exquisite flora and fauna. The Caribbean Sea would shout out as is written in verses 1 and 2, the Lord reigns. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is robed in majesty and armed with strength. Indeed, the world is established firm and secure. Your throne was established long ago. You are from all eternity. So the Caribbean Sea would join with the other great seas of the world in declaring God's greatness and majesty. However, when the Caribbean Sea scans humanity, it would find that the statues of God are not kept, and therefore holiness, God's standard for human well-being, is abrogated. Let's hear what the psalmist, singer, songwriter had to say. In the final verse of the psalm, he says, Your statues, Lord, stand firm. Holiness adores your house for endless days. The statues that the writer is pointing to is the summaries in that African Asiatic document known as the Ten Commandments. Five of these commandments deal with holiness between God and humankind and their relationship uh, with the divine. And five deal with holiness in our relationship with each other. The Caribbean Sea is speaking and calling for holiness in our public and private spaces. That is the context that we are in and the one we have to answer questions raised by our Caribbean youth. What answer are we going to give them? Well, that remains to be seen. May God bless you. Have a great day. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Share a link with others if you are impressed by this meditation and blessed by it. And give us a thumbs up. God bless you once again. Bye.